And now our tail of the take for this lightweight scrap. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Patty the Patty Pimblad. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Tony El Kukui. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. Ferguson has been such a submission threat and, and successful striker in the UFC that people sleep on the fact that he does come in with wrestling credentials. Two time collegiate all market at Grand Valley State University. All about volume and pace from Tony Ferguson here early DC. We talk about the stories of him training for six hours without a break. This guy can go all night. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Pimblet. Oh, fighter lands another jab. Oh, nice. Got the single collar guy. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, great, great level change there. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hook. But get to your hands, stand up, like the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Single leg takedown. All right, so he's gonna take off on here. He's got it isolated. Ooh, strong grip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Great defense by this fighter. Ferguson gets back up here. Beautiful body kick. That one appeared to stun him. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has won. by Patty Pimble. Ferguson not having it, stays upright. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh! All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here or not. That Darce choke is tight. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. A lot of high-level grappling out of Tony Ferguson, as we have come to expect. And you expected that this would be his approach in this matchup tonight. Well, you watch him and know that in this matchup, wrestling and submissions would be his easiest path to victory. He has a Ooh, submission attempts and bunches tonight. That's it pretty deep. Ooh, that's tight. Might just be a matter of time now. Oh, he got out again. He did it again. This guy's a magician. He just keeps on escaping. You need to work. I'll stand the shot. Work. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or a big round of power. Ooh, elbow from the bottom. Lance then had some zip on it. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, so there it is. Yet another strike to the body. Feels like that was what the game plan was rooted in coming in here tonight. Absolutely, John. And you could think that he's setting him up to go up top. Or, honestly, 
if he continues to land at this rate, at this target, he could finish him here. So I wouldn't change anything unless he makes you. Thirty seconds to go on the round. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. All right, he's got side control here. Deep now, trying to isolate an arm. Yeah, he's trying to go to a Kimura lock right here. He'll, he'll either try to get the submission or use the sweep. He's hurt. He stop it. He's hurt. This could be the end of the fight. He gets out though. Wow. Yeah, he did a great job of straightening his arm, and then when his arm straightened, he followed the momentum going in that direction to free himself from that Kimura attempt. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the final horn as this one goes the distance. Looked like at times he might get him out of there with a submission. Nonetheless, he'll have to settle for a decision. He kept getting so close. He was so close on so many attempts that it's hard to believe that we are seeing the judges scorecards but in those attempts i believe that he did enough to get ready this to decision fight. ready Good. second round here all right so here we go next round is underway it looked like maybe we would get a finish by submission in the previous round close but no cigar close but no cigar he's gonna have to do things differently if he's gonna submit this guy Really a, a Terminator quality, though, to Tony Ferguson. He eats these shots and just keeps moving forward. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take... Oh! Uh, this could do it. Oh, oh Jerry! Oh! He can't even see it. Oh, big left hand. Oh, my goodness. Big knee. Well, champ, I don't see that. damage you do eventually it will show itself right now it's starting to show oh look at that high level grappling as the fighter will watch the arm bar but watch the arm bar here oh he's got that arm in tight dc oh this is some high level efficient effective grounding power wow somehow some way he gets the arm out it looked like he was done john but he was able to stay comfortable stay patient and now he finds himself safe Great defense by the defensive fighter. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, they're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy, I have. <laughs> Oh, that was a fierce elbow. All right, side control now. Ferguson's got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. El Cuckoo, he's got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Beautiful ground and pound, and that would cut him. North-south position. Oh, could get a finish soon. Looks like a Darce choke. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Oh, flattening on his back there. Great submission defense. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's in the mount. Oh, he got two spots. Oh, he's working for the sub. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping the full guard. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Nice defense. To the mount. Back mount now. Oh, might be trying to set up a leg. 
submission here. Got it very tight. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This fight. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. <laughs> setting up another sub attempt here. Getting close to the finish. He's out. What submission defense on this play? Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Seconds winding down in round two. Sounds on round two. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Pimblet's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? Third and final is underway. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Big right hand. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, like big elbow. Like oh. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Oh, nice. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this one? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Just missed on the front kick there. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know it. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of round number 3. To playing the winner by tap out, Patty! The Patty! Pim Black! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career.